I've got something I think you'll be interested in. From Russia with love, huh? Well, that gun that Sean Connery held in the promotional shots. Oh, wow. You mind if I check it out? Sure. It's pretty cool, man. What do you think? I think you need to wear a tux. Yeah, I don't wear tuxes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have owned this Walther pellet gun for about nine years. A friend of mine that passed away actually was the owner of it, and he left it to me. Walther makes other guns, but this, I understand, was the first pellet gun they ever made. I'm trying to get $500 for my Walther pellet gun, and I've kind of decided that the least I would take would be $300. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting story, actually. Sean Connery went to the uh, promotional shoots for From Russia With Love, and they didn't have the gun he was supposed to shoot with. So by chance, I guess the photographer happened to have this Walther in his car. So he went and got it, and thus became the famous picture that everyone knows from the movie. It's pretty cool, man. What do you know about it? Well, they've resold the one that Sean Connery used twice that that I found. Okay. Once about 10 years ago or so for over a half million dollars, and they resold it last year again for about 200,000, so I wasn't looking for quite that much, but. Yeah, I hope you're not, because I'm gonna send you on your way. <laughs> Pretty much everybody knows about James Bond, and I know a lot of people think Sean Connery was one of the best Bonds of the franchise, but we're not looking at the golden gun here, and even though this one's cool, it's not the one that was used in the movie. So how much do you want for it? I'd like to get $500 for it. Ah, oh, man, I, I don't think it's know. worth $500. They're pretty rare. That's the thing, is I just don't think people are out there collecting this pistol, or they would just be on the market more. I'm looking more like 150 bucks. Oh, I couldn't go that low. I could come down to 400. I'm gonna assume you'd be my best offer at 200. I would sell it today for 250, but I can't sell it for any less than that. For 200, I'd love it, but for 250, it's just not right. I understand. All right. All right. Thank you. See you later. I'm not bothered a whole lot. If I can't get 250 for it, I'll just try to sell it myself someplace else because I think I can get the money. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a past? I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.